Okay, welcome to Funday Monday, and it's March 2024. It's amazing to know that there, there's a bone in our body that can support 30 times the weight of an adult's body, making it stronger than concrete, if you can believe it. That is incredible. Who would have known, right? Yeah. And that leads us to the quiz question this month, which is... Which of these is the strongest bone in the human body? A, tibia, B, skull, C, femur, or D, humerus? The answer is C, femur, or also known as the thigh bone, which happens to be not only the strongest bone, but also the longest bone in the human body. Wow. Well, it seemed like most people knew the answer to this, by the way. And, but I just think it's good to talk about because I know I don't talk about this bone every day. <laughs> so, but this remarkable durability is essential as the femur plays a crucial role in supporting the skeleton during various activities like walking, running, jumping, bicycling, just pretty much anything we do, right? Right. And yeah. the femur also helps us carry our body weight when we stand and move. The femur is critical in helping us maintain stability so we don't fall over easily, which is very important, especially as we get a little older. <laughs> That's right. We definitely want to keep our balance. You know, a motor vehicle collision, for example, like when you're in a car, is the number one cause of femur fractures. I don't know if you knew that, but that's pretty incredible. Yes, yes. I, I think any type of motor vehicle collision, even, you know, being hit by a, a vehicle would would probably be part of that uh, fracture. Well, if you're in the car, it'd have to be a pretty good, pretty big collision, you know, where it, it comes, it, you know, it fractures your leg somehow or pieces of metal or something, you know, like it's, it's sad to talk about it, but that it's just a fact of life, right? Right, right. And so we need to be careful and make sure that we drive carefully and don't hurt our femur. <laughs> exactly, exactly. A femur fracture can actually be life-threatening, actually. Um, a break in the femur bone can lead to severe bleeding and complications, including blood clots forming in the thigh bone and the thigh veins uh oh <laughs> okay don't worry about it no it's it's true though like um it's 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 kind of sad to talk about that but you know that's why you want to do everything you can to be as safe in fact you know i sure want to be safe to protect this most critical bone um i'm going to be thinking about it in a whole different way you know, when I when I walk or especially when I'm on the bicycle or if I'm running, you know, I have a whole new perspective on the femur bone now that we've we've discovered talked about this. And and to be grateful for all that 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 wonderful bone has done to get me through this life, you know, in so many great ways. You know, what a blessing it is to have, you know, the way God created us, you know, it's amazing. <laughs> Right. And, and that goes for any of our bones. It's, it's just amazing how it just with along with the muscles helps support us and lets us do with the things that we enjoy doing. Right. Well, it's time for the drawing and uh, for fun right. day Monday. And we'll see uh, who the winner is. We got quite a few entries. So let's see who we, who we pick. All right. Here we go. Always a random pick here. We just don't know until right right now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Ralph Alby. All right, Ralph Alby. I actually just uh, talked to him pretty recently, so it's nice to see him uh, be the winner for this. And so, Ralph, just so you know, like you can you can donate this money to the to the favorite charity of your choice. So we will actually donate it. Or you could take the winnings yourself. Either way, it's totally okay with us. And so when you get this, 
contact me right away. And if I don't hear from you, I'll get in touch with you and we'll, we'll get this thing rolling. All right. So I also wanted to take this time to wish everybody a happy Easter since this is one of the few years that Easter is actually in yeah. March. Barely. It's March 31st. <laughs> and if you're also watching this and you're interested in talking to me about our Easter egg hunt, that's uh, happening this month as well. So it's going to be, it's already a great month, but it's going to be a lot of fun this month. Lots of good stuff happening. That's right. We'll start seeing some spring. That's right. And happy Easter, everybody. And please don't keep us a secret. And we'll see you next month on Funday Monday. Goodbye. Bye-bye.